Okay, so let's take a look at how to make a more complicated shape uh, using some angles. So I have a, a rectangle or a square right here, and if I add up all of these interior angles, 90, 90, 90, 90, I get 360. If I have a triangle, it adds up to 180. All of the interior angles equals 180. All right, that's just some things that we know. So now if we have a octagon, and we're gonna learn how to frame the octagon bench over there, if I have a center point on the inside, right? I can actually say that there's like a circle inside of this. And so there's 360 degrees on the interior angle of all of these triangles. Okay, if I take a loop all the way around. Just like in a circle, if you're a skateboarder and you do a 360, right, you've spun all the way around. Same thing inside here, we've spun all the way around. So each of these triangles, Let's say we go and look at this one a little bit closer, this triangle right here. That interior angle is going to be 360 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, divided by 8, which is 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees, right? Each of these eight parts is 45 degrees of those triangles. Now, these two triangles have to be the same because we want all of these to meet equally. So all these triangles are the same. They're all similar. And so that means that this arc is the same as this arc. And so since we know the interior angles have to add up to 180, we know it's 180 minus the 45 degree that we have is going to equal uh, 2x. So basically what we're going to have here is we can say that 180 minus 45 is going to be, let's see, quick math here, 5, 1, 135 is going to equal 2x. So we divide by 2, divide by 2. So x equals 67 and a half degrees. And if you can't do that mentally, you can do it with a calculator. But basically 67 and a half degrees is this angle and this angle. And so I just need to know the length, right, that these need to be. And so in order to get my length, I just need to know the diameter, right, of my octagon. So I think for our bench, we had a, a five foot diameter. Let's actually go check it real quick. On the top, we had a five foot diameter. I think on the bottom is much bigger actually. So we're talking about making the seats. So let's just measure that real quick to get the diameter on it. And so we're at like a 89, let's check the inside. Six foot, 72, so six foot. So if we design it for a six foot diameter, then we can actually end up determining how long those pieces need to be and then we know the angle that they're gonna be. So essentially what we can do now is we can say with this triangle, if we split it down the middle, um, splitting it down the middle gets us halfway to what our overall dimension was. So if we set our overall dimension for this thing was six feet, and let's say the seats go on the outside of that, then like there's the seat, right? And here's the inside dimension of that uh, framing. If that's six foot, then that's three foot for this part of the uh, triangle. And then our actual seat would like sit right on here. So by knowing that this is three foot, we can actually determine how long that inside piece is. So let's draw that triangle one more time, splitting it down. Now we're looking at a 90 degree triangle with three foot on one end. And then we don't know this one, but we know that this is all 45. We know half of 45, this is 22.5 degrees. And if this is three foot, we can actually determine what X is using um, Sokotoa. Here's our hypotenuse. If that's our angle, this is our opposite, and this is our adjacent. So we're gonna use tangent. So the tangent, uh, Toa, right? It's a tangent. It's a tangent of opposite over the adjacent. So the tangent of 225, two, 22.5 degrees it's going to equal my opposite which is x over the adjacent which is 36 inches or three feet so i'm just going to go and get my trusty calculator out flip it this way we got the tangent of 22.5 okay so i was doing this wrong on the calculator i was pressing tangent before i typed in the numbers but it looked like i looks like i have to type them in first so 22.5 
and then the tangent of that. So I'm going to click on tangent. That's it. That gives me this number. And so then I multiply that by 36 inches to get x by itself. And that's going to give me 14.9. So what that tells me is that x is 14.9. And then it's also 14.9 over here. So if I add those together, so that times 2, 29.8 becomes... becomes this side of my bench piece. This, um, these angles are gonna be at uh, 67 and uh, a half degree. So that's what these are. What I have here is a, a line transversing two parallel lines. And so what I can do here is say that since these are in the same side, these are supplementary. And so that this angle is going to be 180 minus 67.5. And so here, this is a 112.5 degree. So I can measure out 29.8. I can go 112.5 degrees out from that. And then uh, I can travel across the distance of the board and I can travel across the distance of the board and then I'm left with this shape. So what I'm going to do here is just show you how kind of the miter saw works cutting complementary angles. So coming across the framing was our six foot to the inside here. We actually know that um, if we came out, this would be 90 degrees, but this is actually at 67.5 degrees. But when we actually go to cut this, we're cutting off this part, which is complementary to this part. And so since it was 90, and then we're gonna subtract to get to 67.5, we call this, this cut 22 and a half right here to get this angle. So on the miter saw, we're gonna cut the complementary of what geometrically we end up having left. So we cut a 22 and a half angle to then give us 67.5 left over. So we're cutting off 22. Uh, and a half. That's how that saw works. And then here, essentially this this length here, if we measure to its center, and then we come over that uh, that 14.8, which which we had calculated, right? 14.8 from the center of this uh, board, and 14.8 this way. Then we know the length of this, and then we could uh, do this degree, 12.5. I forgot. Yeah, 112.5. So. Essentially, this is a 112 uh, degree angle right here, which is, uh, it's obtuse, you can see that already, so that makes sense. And then this is the complementary, or supplementary to that uh, angle. And then uh, what we cut is complementary to this, because we can come out from 90. This is that 22.5 degree, right? So 22.5 plus 67.5 gets me 90. Right, so I'm cutting out the complementary, and then this would be supplementary to this, right? Because I have two parallel lines and a line transversing those two, and they're on the same side of that transversal line, so they're supplementary, same side sub. All right, so let's go to actually uh, cut this piece. I'm going to twist this. We're going to go to our 22 and a half degrees. And then from here, we had 29.8 to the next angle. So this board is going to be uh, too short, right, for our bench seat. I would have to go 29.8, which uh, would be like 29 7 eighths. Right, we'll have to turn that into a fraction. So 7 eighths is uh, 8.75 or. Uh, 0.875 and maybe like uh, uh, 13 sixteenths we could find out what that is and we just want to convert a fraction on a tape measure to the closest decimal that we approximated so essentially um, like 13 divided by 16 is that's actually way closer that's 0.81 so we're going to use um, 29 and 13 uh, sixteenths for our, for our measurement across so I need to find a longer board 
that's gonna actually work for this. And this one's pressure treated, so that's even better. So let's see if it works. So we got our angle, so let's cut that first. Okay, and then we know that we have 29.8, or 29 and 13 sixteenths. So 16 sixteenths, uh, 15 sixteenths, 14 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths. And that's the uh, angle we're gonna go. And so we could flip this over and we could move this saw the other way. So we'll undo that, go 22 and a half this way. And you just need to make sure that we're on the uh, correct side of that line. And so now we've made the trapezoid that we need in order to do a lap around this uh, octagon bench. So you saw how we used uh, a few different theories in order to make our pieces for our octagon bench. <laughs>